Um, start off, this is a view of the Switch Easy Neo for iPod Touch 2G, 3G. Um, straight into this review, no bullshit. Um, all the other stuff that came with it is in my um, room downstairs. Um, so I'm not going to get that. and I'm just going to show it, tell you what it comes with. First of all, it comes with... Um, comes with the case, obviously, all the little bits and pieces, a boat plug, <laughs> now a bottom plug for you to stop dust and lint getting in there, but as you can see after a couple of days use it's chewed up a little bit, um, so it just fits in there like that, as you can see. Um, comes with a spare silicone case which I'll talk to you about in a moment um, comes with a uh, dock stand so you can watch it like that it's got like a little stand and you can just leave it and yeah uh, it comes with a microfiber but it's not this one it's a grey one it comes with it comes with two screen protectors one screen protector is on here already uh, one screen protector is on my dad's um, downstairs, so yeah. Um, let's get into this review then. Um, the Switch Easy is a case which is um, the case is actually three parts to it. It has three main parts. It has the back cover, which is this nice slick. If you can hear that, it's a matte finish, um, rubber type. Rubber feel plastic, it feels like rubber, but it isn't rubber, it's plastic. It's just the way that, um, whoa, what the hell? It's just the way that the um, matte finish is on there, it feels like rubber, it's really nice and grippy. Then you've got the, um, then you've got the H frame, which underneath this you can see like the emblem, the shiny emblem. This goes on top of the H frame, H frame goes along and then across like that. I should take this off now. So as you can see, this just pops off. So that's the, um, Back, back brace, the spine, like the Switch Easy Rebel. This is the H frame, as I was talking to you about. And underneath here is a silicone case, as you can see. Uh, as you can see here, one of the installation problems that you get the silicone gets trapped inside the pockets here, the cut sides, gets all bungled up, and then ends up like that. The other bad problem is it's really so tactile and thin though um, that the bottom where the bottom of it did rip off. It's supposed to go across that thing there, but it ripped off as I was putting the um, bottom over it. Um, so how you take the fr H frame off is really difficult as well. What you got to do is you got to push. Uh, there you go, and you just sort of take off like that. It's a um, see-through plastic, like a smoky colour, uh, as people say. It's bendy in the middle, and this is bendy in the middle as well. So if you and know anything about skateboards, skateboards, yes, I know more about skateboards, not thingy, not this, but it's just an example. Skateboards have the deck. They have ply after ply after ply. They usually have seven to nine plies of wood in there. Each piece of wood is alternately grained, the grain of the wood is alternate so it's like that, instead of like one grain going that way, one grain going that way basically that's for strength that's to strengthen the wood up and this is exactly what this is doing if it was going across if that was like that and it was bendy and that was going across there and it was bendy as well it would bend a lot and it would snap but because it's going, one's going across and one's going down and the main flex is in the middle it's not going to snap um, unless you do something really stupid to it so yeah, that's one of the points. This is the silicone frame I was talking about before. The silicone, not the frame, the uh, skin. As you can see, it is pretty much a link collector. There's loads of little dirt, dirt particles in it. And it gets collected up over time. I've had this for a few days. And it collects up a lot of dirt and stuff. But um, as you can see, it's... It holds its position pretty well. Not as much, not that much to say. Yeah, it's amazing, but it holds its shape pretty well. But the problem is when it's on the iPod, that's the main problem. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it in. That's what she said. Lay it in this way. Just put the, co the corners over. As you can see, it just goes on normally. There's not really any effort. As you can see, the bezel is um, showing a lot. Some places, when you massage it back over, it just goes back over again. So there's no really any point to that. But what you got to do is you got to get the H frame. And this, I'll show you the problem with this now. The main problem with this case. Put the H frame, line it up with the buttons. And as you can see, this is probably not going to work. Uh, as you can see, the the is red there, the thingy. Because of what you have to do is pull this over. And when you pull this over, this is what's happening. Look, the the um, skin of the silicone gets caught around, gets caught a lot, gets caught in the corners, it's caught everywhere, and you have to undo it. Just to take, just to get the silicon out. But yeah, so that's basically it. Also, if you not put your screen protector on, exactly perfect, exactly perfect. The screen, the screen bubbles, bubbles got coming up on the screen on the side, where the screen isn't thing, um, isn't that well done. But as you can see, look, it's that thin. It pushes it up. And this little thing comes up here. The will be one at the bottom, but mine ripped off, as I said. But that will soon be hidden by this. You put the top on, like that. Another main problem about this is that the top doesn't stay on. And the silicone gets pulled away from it. So you put this on, and then snap. There you go. Installation complete. That is a... The bad thing about it, that's the bad thing about it. Nothing else is bad about this case. It's an amazing case. It does its job perfectly. People say, oh, it's going to get scratched up there, blah, blah, blah. That's the point of a fucking case, you idiots. That is the point of a case. You don't buy a case to protect the case to protect the case. You get a case to protect your iPod, not to mess around. Oh, it's going to scratch my case because I'm a little girl. No. That's what you buy a case for, you knob. So, yeah, it's got three layers of protection. Really nice protection. Um, I'm comfortable doing that. Uh, hard case. It's got a nice hard surface here, so just to prove it. It's got laying the table design. So, get like a uh, plectrum. They're not very thin, but you get a picture. Put it on top of it. It's not going to scratch the screen, even though they've got screen protectors on anyway. As you can see, it does gather up quite a lot of dirt. This bit here, along the bezel bit, the plastic from there gets scratched up quite a bit. Um, screen protectors are good, I've got to hurry up with this. The screen protectors are good, everything you get with it is really good. Uh, the case is worth 20 quid, it's really good. On this video, all I've done is gone past the hat, the bad bits. It's a really good case. Don't let that put you off, please. It is a really good case worth the money. And yeah, this is um, Tack UK signing out for you people. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And please, uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so thank you very much, and see you later.